This is a trail in here uh, from Kyle's Landing. We're almost to Indian Creek now. That's where we're headed is Indian Creek and you can see the scenery changes as we get farther back in here. As we get farther back here in the spring you can see towering limestone bluffs above us through the trees where there's a break in them and it just gets higher and higher as we go farther south into the valley. As we continue south on a makeshift trail above the creek we see more and more water coming out of the sides of the hills and flowing into uh, Indian Creek. I'm just going to work to the left up on the hill here as best I can of this pool. And I hope I find something up in there that I can go through to get around this pool. Water continues coming out of the hillsides and the bluffs, the limestone bluffs, as we get farther, closer and closer to the big bluff. There's a little campsite I came upon right here. Somebody might spend the night here. I'm climbing up to the top of a tall bluff here. It goes way, way up. The reason I'm doing that is because there's no good way to get through down there at the creek. So this will take me around the creek, but it's a hike up there. On the way back, you'll be hiking down it. I'm not all the way up to the top of the bluff yet, but I'm about two-thirds of the way down. You can see the Indian Creek down there. This is the only decent way that we can find around this thing, is to climb to the top of this bluff and go around it. The thing about that bluff trail is if you didn't take that bluff trail and you were down in there and you had a heavy sudden rain, unless you're uh, really a good swimmer, you might drown because there's nowhere to climb to climb up to get out of the rain and this thing will be swollen over your head. It could be in a couple minutes. That's why I take the bluff trail. You may have noticed that the entire hike back here from Kyle's Landing we've been gaining elevation going uphill slowly ever so slowly and this is no exception we're still hiking uphill and I've got to get around that waterfall somehow and this is my choices and this is my other choices but I'll get around it I always do this is what I've been told is called Arkansas Cave there's a cave up there I don't know anybody that's ever been in that cave it jumps right into the buffalo uh, into the Indian Creek right here below it. A lot of the times it's just simply dry here. But it's flowing well today. And there's the limestone bluff that I'm going to try to climb up and go through a cave at the top to get to the eye of the needle if possible. It actually took me about two hours to get out to these limestone bluffs because it's so deep, the water. Now I'm looking north on Indian Creek. There's the Arkansas Cave. And we just have nothing here but tall bluffs all around us. There's a cave up there I'm going to get into if I can and go through the top of the bluff and find the eye of the needle. This is where I'm heading, up here. I'm going to climb this thing. There's a cave at the top or near the top. I'm going to go into and go through the top of the bluff and head on to eye of the needle.
So this is a view from inside the shelter. I'm up, I'm up in the limestone bluffs. And I'm up here. And there's the one cave. And uh, there's down below. Right there. I don't know if I can be seen or not. But uh, coming back up here, there's a cave some people hang out in. I don't. And here is the shelter. This is a cave I'm going to walk through and go out on the other side of the bluff and hopefully get to Eye of the Needle in a short distance. Let's see what we got pulling through here. I don't think I see anything. Ah, uh, maybe. That's the cave I'm going through. So now I, I'm through the uh, shelter cave, which I had to get on my hands and knees because it's only four and a half or five foot tall in there. And now I continue on above the creek to these trails here, which should take me to the Eye of the Needle. Not too far a distance from here. There's the eye of the needle at the top there in the center. There's a pool of water immediately on the other side that's very, very deep for this uh, creek to be running through it. That's Indian Creek and there's a very deep pool that we can't see on the other side. <laughs> really good. Look great.